Hello, this is Kara on Rump Raves. Sorry I always wear this. This is just my work clothes. So, yeah. I have a very special unboxing video today. Uh, I'm not going to show the addresses because I don't want either of them to be known. But there's nothing, nothing on the box that would show anything. So, these are my pads from Tara from Period Attire. I haven't looked at them yet because I wanted to just do it for the video. All right. <laughs> okay, so this just says what it is. Uh, and it has a list for what each one is. So the liners have the white ribbon, light flow is pink, moderate flow is green, heavy flow is red, and super heavy flow is purple. So that's like the overnight. Um, I'm not gonna read that because it's it's just for me, I guess. Um, it says, the liners have one layer of cotton flannel. Light pads have one layer of Zorb. The moderate pad has two layers of flannel and one layer of Zorb. The heavy pad has two layers of Zorb. And the super pad has two layers of Zorb and one layer of flannel. All right, here we go. I'm super, super excited. I can't wait. Ooh, there's... Oh, this, this is the giveaway pad. I guess I'll show this. Giveaway pad from Love Your Moon Time. Very cute. It's just a, it's like a hybrid liner type thing. You can wear it either way. So you have this nice brown color. It's a little bit more brown than it's showing. And then here's a bright springy color. That's also a little bit more dark than it's showing. But that's okay. And here is the tag. So it's just from the period attire giveaway. A cute little ribbon on there. You can see that too. Just ties on the tag. <laughs> Alright, so here are the period attire pads. I think that's what she decided on for her name. I watched her video showing everything that I was going to get, so I'm super excited. And I, I kind of know what each thing is. This is the little mini pad keychain. It's super cute. It's actually made like a real pad. It has the stitch for the core. It doesn't actually have a core in it, but it has the stitch to make it look like that. It has the fleece, and it's been turned and top stitched as well. So that's super cute. And it's also made in her shape, the shape that she makes her pads. So that's neat. Here is the liner. I better keep my list so I know what each thing is. Okay, so, sorry, I'm just gonna order everything. All right. I think I know what each thing is. Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll, I'll figure it out for myself. Here is the liner. I'll show you the wings too. It has the wings closer to the top. So that's really neat if you're more of a back bleeder so you can have the, the pad just a little bit more towards the back. There's the ribbon. Oh, it'll show the absorbencies on the ribbons. That's smart. So it is a liner. Um, it has the clear cam snaps. I've just recently heard some negative things about the clear cam snaps, but they work just fine. I mean, they're completely functional on here, so that, they're fine. It has a leaf stitch to secure down the soaker layer. That's really cute. Um, oh, it's, it's not... Uh, the silker layer isn't secured down anywhere other than the straight silker stitch. So I'm worried that it might fold over. But I don't know because I don't know if it's secured on the ends. I guess I'll just let you know in my review. So yeah, very cute. It's really nicely made. I like how neat her stitches are. And her edge stitch, it's just a diagonal stitch like that. And it's really close together so I think it will hold together really well. So that's a liner. Um, I believe this was the next one. Um, 
Okay, so this is the one that has it on the wrong side, but that's okay. It's another liner, because it has the white. Um, she actually traded prints for me because she asked me if I would like this print more or the one that she had previously picked, and I said this one because it's really cute kitty print. So that's really cute. And pink fleece on the back. Uh, another liner, so just one layer of flannel. I think it actually is secured around everywhere but before the wings. So I don't think it will have any problems with that. I guess I was just worried about with the liner. Uh, this one has a zigzag stitch securing down the soaker layer. I really like this print. It's so cute. Um, I think all of her pads have the clear cam snaps. The Love Your Moon Time pad has brown snaps. Just FYI. So that was the second liner. I think this is the light pad. Yeah, so this is the pink. Yeah, pink. So this has one layer absorb in it. I know what she was talking about now when she was saying that it was made so perfectly. Because it really is. It's really perfect. Everything is just so even. It has a leaf stitch again. Uh, it's cherries and flowers. Pink fleece on the back. It's just the top stitch is just so neat all the way around. So that's awesome. Alright, next is the moderate pad, has a green ribbon. I like this print. It's very pretty. I, I have never had a problems with blue staining. I know blue is supposed to stain more, but I haven't had a problem with it. This one is also done really neatly with the zigzag stitch on the edge. So this one has... Moderate pads are one layer of flannel and one layer of Zorb. So it's just a little bit thicker, but it's still really thin. I know some people say that Zorb makes pads thicker and stiffer, but it's, it's pretty floppy. I like it. I really like this print. It's just, it's like a cool color. Because it's the green and the blue, and it's, it's a very white white. And I like the shape of her wings. She makes them slightly curved. So they're not so straight. They're slightly rounded. I like that. And her ribbon, the ends of the ribbon are secured in very well. So it's just the middle of it that shows. And then it goes inside the pad. So you don't even see it. So that's good. This one has purple fleece on the back. So I like that. The next one is a heavy, I think. It's red. Yes, a heavy. This one has purple fleece again. And I really like this one. I think this is the one that she called Under the Sea. And I like the shape of this one, too. It's a little bit longer in the back. So that would be nice for a heavy day, since it's a heavy pad. Um, the heavy pads have two layers of Zorb. Um... Everything is pretty much the same, except I think this is the first one. This is the first one that has stitches stitching around the soaker layer. Yeah, see here is the moderate with the heavy. The heavy is the first one who ha that has the extra stitching. So that will just help it secure it down, and it helps make it a little bit thinner, too, since it is two layers of sword. Um, it has the leaf stitch again. It's kind of hard to see because it's the same color. But I like that. It's still pretty... It's thin for a, for a heavy pad. Here is the next heavy pad. Um, it is not the exact same size. It's a little bit longer, but it's the same shape because it has the bigger flare at the end again. This one has a kind of a wavy stitch in there. I like the purple thread. It's a little bit darker than the print, so it's easy to see. Um, 
this one looks like it was a little bit hard to stitch around because the the layers are thicker with uh, two layers of Zorb. So it's just kind of, it makes the fleece kind of pop out in the front. That's not a big deal. I guess I'll just talk more about that in my review. But I know that she made these really fast in like one night, which was awesome. And they got shipped here really fast too, which was awesome. And this was just a swap for us. We didn't, I didn't pay for them or anything, so it's really not a big deal because this was awesome to do. Just to get the experience of it all. Alright, so that's the second heavy. And here is the last pad. This is the overnight, or the super heavy, that she called it. So this one has... This one got a little bit neater with the zigzag stitch to kind of cover up the thickness of the Zorb. So it's just zigzagged around there. It's kind of hard to see. There, you can see it there. This one, again, has the leaf stitch. You can see it there on the green. Yeah. Sorry, my nails are bad. I painted them a while ago and I haven't done anything with them since. This one, again, has an extra stitching around the soaker layer. I really like this print. I think this is my favorite one. And I really like that her pads are so thin. Which is just perfect because I like thin pads too. Well, I guess I mean narrow, not thin. They are thin though. So this is the super heavy. That's thin for a super heavy. Alright. Uh, purple fleece. I think there's just purple and pink fleece. And there's one blue. That's the micro fleece. So that's what makes this one so incredibly thin. Alright, so this is this is awesome. I'm really excited to try all these. This will really bulk up my stash. I know I already have a ton. I have too many that I can use in even multiple cycles. But anyway, this is awesome and I will do my review and post it when I've used all of them enough. It'll probably be a while, I guess. But I'll try to use just these on my next couple cycles and see how it goes. I'll just mention anything that I'd normally mention in a pad review. So that's it. Thank you so much to Tara from A Period Attire. I will be sending out your pads as soon as I can. I've just been super busy lately, so I'll let you know when I do ship those out. And thanks for watching, guys. I know this was kind of a video just for the two of us, but I hope it's exciting for you guys. Um, you can subscribe if you would like to keep up with more of my videos. I promise I have more videos geared more towards you coming up soon. Um, you can put in the comments if you would like any other type of videos, and that's it. See you next video.